Hello, my name is Melanie Henderson. I'm a yoga therapist. I teach classes here at White Rock Recreation and Culture. Today we're going to do a short yoga class. We're going to be using some props, so I'll show you what we're using here. Um, a pillow, get yourself a pillow or two pillows. Uh, I've got a fleece blanket here that I can fold up in, in different shapes. And then I've got three blankets that I'm using to make a stack of, of blankets. So um, I've got wool blankets and a fleece blanket. If you've got wool, cotton, fleece, that sort of thing, um, take your blankets and fold them nice and flat and smooth so they're uh, maybe six or eight inches wide and long as long as as your mat width of your mat and then maybe three inches high yeah, so and then also sorry also a chair some of you may want to use a chair so you have a chair in your vicinity so if you want to pause the tape and get gather all of your props fold them the way you need and then come back to me and we'll begin and welcome back. I'm going to begin by reading a quote, a beautiful, some beautiful words from the Bhagavad Gita. And this quote speaks to the busyness of our mind and how the busyness of our mind is where fear and anxiety comes up from. So this is a beautiful quote from the Bhagavad Gita. When the mind of a yogi is in harmony and finds rest in the spirit within, then his soul is a lamp whose light is steady, for it burns in a shelter where no winds come. We're going to focus on movement and our breath, our body and our breath, and I hope that allows you to find a place of peace and harmony with this practice. So we're going to begin down on our mat. Um, have your, your props handy within arm's reach. And I'm going to move some of these things out of my way so you can see me. And make your way down to your back. And knees are bent, feet on the floor. And then settle yourself into this position. And as you settle into this position, if you notice that this isn't comfortable for you, that something doesn't feel good, you may need to prop a bit. So you might need to get a hold of one of your blankets and use, or your pillow, and use that under your head. Yeah, so take a minute here to prop yourself as need be so that you can find a comfortable position that you can relax into. And then let yourself relax down into that position. Take a few deeper breaths. So on your exhale, make a little sound as you exhale. <sighs> a few of those breaths. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. And let yourself land. Let yourself land here in this room and on this mat. And then take your awareness to noticing your body meeting the mat. So noticing the feet standing on the mat and letting the weightedness of your feet release down onto the ground and the pelvis your pelvis meeting the mat and as you exhale let the weight of your pelvis surrender back on to the ground to the earth and up your spine feel your spine feel your back ribs your shoulder blades your arms your hands and on your exhale, allowing the weightedness of the back body, the body, to drop down into the ground underneath you. And the head. Notice your head resting on the surface it's on and letting the weightedness of your head relax back. And then let your awareness come to your spine. Think about from your tailbone all the way up your spine to your crown and visualize your spine as a column of light. Visualize your spine as if it were a core of light shining within you. And you can see that as white light, cool like the moon, or you could see it as 
golden light, warm like the sun, or whatever color you like. You can see it as purple light. See this light, this core of light within you. And then let your awareness go to your breathing as you inhale, noticing the air coming into the body. As you exhale, noticing the air going out of the body. And notice as you breathe how on the inhale there's a feeling of rising or expansion in the body. And as you exhale, a feeling of falling or condensing back inwards. Let your mind follow that beautiful rhythm of rise and fall or expand, condense. And then begin to imagine as if that breathing is going up and down your spine, up and down this core of light. That it is in fact this core, your spine, breathing. Expanding from tail to crown as you inhale, softening as you exhale. Letting the breath open the spine, open the body. And feeling your body rooting back to the ground as you settle in with your breath here. Beautiful. And then as you're ready, we're going to take it into movement. So bring your arms in close to the sides. If you're comfortable to have your palms down, then be there. Find your feet right underneath you. Yeah, get a sense as, as if you're standing on your feet. Yeah. And then we're going to start taking it into bridge posture. So you're going to be on an inhale, press down through your feet into the ground to lift your pelvis away from the ground. And as you exhale, rolling through your spine, this column of light back down to the ground. And a couple of those. Inhale, lifting the pelvis. Exhale, rolling back down. And then the next time you're coming into to bridge, so as I inhale, lifting into bridge, now you're going to take a few breaths to roll yourself down as if you're rolling your spine down like a string of pearls, one pearl at a time. So you may even want to take your fingers and put them at the front of you and imagine that you're, that you're touching each bone of your spine all the way down as you're setting each bone down to the mat. So take an inhale and then as you exhale, set one more bone down onto the mat. Inhale, exhaling the next bone and right all the way down your spine so as best you can you're you're sitting down one bone at a time and you're going to notice that there's areas of your spine that aren't moving separately at all but just visualizing that taking a nice slow roll down opening lengthening the spine getting space in your discs yeah, and once your pelvis lands do that one more time this nice slow roll down from bridge. Yeah, taking as long as feels good for you. You're making sure you're not going into pain here. Yeah, being mindful that you're not clenching into your buttocks in this position. Keep the sit bones. Yeah, keep your pelvis wide. Yeah, take your time rolling down one bone at a time. And then as your pelvis lands, pause for a, a breath. And then we're going to take it into, we're going to be drawing our, uh, I'm going to start with my left leg. So we're going to be drawing a leg, my left leg in, and I'm going to hold around the knee. You can either thread your hands or stack your hands and hold around the knee, or if that's not comfortable for you, hold behind the knee. You may need something under your head here. Yeah, you may need to use a pillow under your head here. So if you don't feel completely comfortable, if it isn't easy enough, to hold the knee in, try putting a pillow under your head and see if that helps. See if that helps you root back into the ground because the most important part of all the movements that we're going to do now is that you stay rooted to the ground, not letting your spine arch away from the ground, yeah, and definitely not taking it into pain, yeah, being mindful that this is not painful. So settle yourself into this position, take a moment to let your body open up. 
few breaths. Ah, use that, that exhale, a bit of sound. And then we're gonna start as you exhale, you're gonna be hugging that left knee into your chest. And as you inhale, you're gonna draw the knee away from you, but only in arm's length, yeah? Exhaling in, inhaling away. One last time, exhaling in, and now you're gonna relax your arms down to your side, and we're gonna to start to straighten our leg as we exhale and bend the leg. On the inhale, we're gonna to straighten towards the ceiling, so turn so the sole of your foot is oriented towards the ceiling above you, and take an exhale, and as you inhale, push through the sole of the foot, reach through the heel to straighten the leg, keep rooted into the ground, don't let your back arch away from the ground here. Ex, uh, sorry, inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, push to straighten the leg. Inhale, bend. And now the next time you push to straighten the leg, you're gonna hold the leg straight and as much as you can being vertical, although your angle might be more like this, be mindful that your back feels fine here. Take an inhale and now as you exhale, you're gonna lower that left leg like a drawbridge. Imagine it's an extension of your spine and you're gradually as straight with the leg as you can, reaching out through the heel to land the leg down onto the ground. If you feel your back arching or if that gives you pain at all, then go ahead and bend your knee, drop your back into the ground, bend your knee part way when you need to, land the foot and then straighten the leg. Yeah, so whichever variation of that is gonna work for you and then you're gonna land here in this position and just rest here. And as you rest here, notice how this left side of your spine, maybe, this uh, posture is, is uh, taking you to a place where you have a little more space, a little more space for breath to come through that spine. And keep coming back to this image of breath flowing up and down this core of light. And then as you're ready, go ahead and bend that left knee and bring the foot back to the floor and then we'll take it to the right leg. So you're drawing the right knee towards you, you're holding around the knee or underneath the knee, whichever is best for you. And then once you're here, take a moment to settle into this. And remember both sides of the body completely different. So it might have been comfortable on the other side, but this side you need to prop. So prop when you need to. Take care of yourself. Take the time. Hmm. Breathe into this and then you're gonna start as you exhale. Uh, visualizing this, the breath flowing up and down the spine, the spine of light, this core of light. Exhale, hug the knee in towards you. Inhale, drawing it away. And with each exhale, feel how that's tucking the pelvis and letting the spine lengthen. Inhaling away. And exhale the knee in this time, pause, relax your arms down, and then we're gonna start doing the straightening, um, bending of the leg. So core of light, and keep that core of light rooted to the ground. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, pushing towards the ceiling with the sole of your foot as if you've got a weight reaching through the heel. As you inhale, bending the knee. Exhale, push, straighten that leg. Inhale, bend, and this last time, exhale, push to straighten the leg, and then with as straight a leg as is comfortable for you, you're gonna lower that right leg now like a drawbridge. Think about it being an extension of your spine, of this core of light, and lengthening that leg away from you to land it. Remembering if you need to, you bend your knee, set the foot on the floor, and then straighten the leg. And then just rest here for a moment, noticing the right side of your midline here, the right side of this core of light, and can I feel the length I've found by taking myself into this position? And then as you're ready, go ahead and bend that knee and bring the foot to the floor and pause for a moment, noticing. Notice your spine, notice if it feels Maybe a little longer now. Maybe a little more relaxed back to the ground. 
Beautiful. And then as you're ready, roll to your side so that you can make your way to sitting so that you can get a hold of your props that we're going to be using right now. So I'm going to have a blanket um, that I'm going to use as a pillow at the head end. And then I'm going to bring this stack of blankets in and I'm going to be putting them across my mat. And then where I'm going with this is I'm going to be lying. I'm going to be on my left side here. So I'm lying on my left side. Uh, I'm going to lie on top of these blankets. So the blankets are underneath my rib cage. So make your way down, lying on top of the blankets. Yeah, so they're under your rib cage. And then uh, your left arm's out in front of you here. Palm up if that's okay for you, if that's comfortable for you. And then whatever you need under your head for a pillow. Yeah and then settling into this, letting yourself land here. And as you land here, if this is not comfortable for you, and absolutely, if this is painful for you, then you're not gonna stay here. And what you may need to do is take a blanket or two out. You might need to get rid of a blanket or two blankets, or even all the blankets, and you can do all of these movements without blankets if you need to. Take care of yourself, make sure you're not in pain. Be comfortable and arrive. So my ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders are stacked on top of each other here. And I'm going to rest into this for a little moment. I'm going to visualize this core of light, my spine, and breathe up and down it a little bit here. Imagine as you inhale that your inhale starts at your tail and flows all the way up this core of light to your crown. And then as you exhale back down to your tail. And a few of those breaths and noticing how this position with your rib cage a little higher on top of these blankets takes you into a little bit of a back bend. Uh, sorry, not a back bend, a side bend. <laughs> Feel your spine in a little side bend here. And then we're going to start to take it into movement with our top arm. So if you're on your left side, that's your right arm. So as you inhale, raise that arm halfway. As you exhale, turn the palm of the hand towards the floor. Take the, the hand in the direction of the floor above your head. Inhaling, halfway back. Exhale, land the hand, the arm on your side. Yeah. And feel as you do this movement with your arm, your side body, your right side body, opening up, lengthening. Feel this core of light in this side bend and imagine it getting longer and longer. Beautiful. And then the next time the arm is extended, if that's comfortable for you, you're going to hold. You could bend your elbows so that your fingertips will land on the ground. And if that's comfortable, you're going to be here. If this is not comfortable, then put your arm where it's comfortable. Here, here, wherever it needs to be so that it's comfortable. And then what we're going to start to do in this position is we're going to start to roll our rib cage on these blankets underneath us. So take an inhale as you exhale, roll more forward, roll your ribs on the bolster more forward. And as you inhale, roll back more to the back of the ribs. Yeah. So exhaling, rolling forward. I'm letting my arm come with me. Yeah, I'm not leading with my arm or my head. I'm leading with my rib cage here. And see if with each repetition you get a little more mobility here. Yeah, maybe a little more freedom in the body for that breath to move. And then remembering if you're not comfortable with the arm, leave the arm down here. And then the next time that you've rolled back, if it feels good for you to hold here, and breathe into this a little bit, then do that. Put the arm where it's going to be comfortable. Yeah, maybe the arm needs to be there right now. Breathe, open up. Beautiful. And then on your next exhale, roll back to your side. Pause for a, a, a couple of breaths when you get back to your side. And then when you're ready, we're going to make our way to the other side. So. I'm going to flip around so that I'm facing the camera, but um, you can just flip to your other side if that's good for you. So get yourself set up on this side with your blankets where they need to be. And then again, the blankets are underneath the rib cage. And now I'm on my right side. My right arm's out in front of me. 
whatever I need for a pillow under my head. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders stacked. And then settle into this. And take the awareness to the breathing. Take the awareness to this image of a, of a core of light. And the breath flowing up and down this core of light. Expand into your side body as you inhale and soften as you exhale. Beautiful. And then we'll begin to move our left arm, our top arm now. So take an exhale. As you inhale, raise that arm halfway. As you exhale, bring the palm of the hand in the direction of the floor above your head. Inhale half, halfway back. Exhale, land the arm. And you are only going as far with this arm movement as you have ease of movement and no pain. So if as I'm doing this movement, I come this far and my shoulder starts to, to hurt, to give me messages, I listen to it. And that's as far as I'm going. So find your pain-free, comfortable range of motion and move through that, letting this movement of your arm open your left side body here. And then the next time, if it's comfortable for you to bend that elbow and rest the hand on the floor, you're going to be in this position, or maybe you're here or here, wherever you need to be. And then we'll take it to the rib rolling on this side. So take an inhale as you exhale, rolling four more forward on your rib cage. And as you inhale, rolling more back on your rib cage. Again, lead with the rib cage, rolling forward and back. Let the arm and the head follow. Yeah, the spine is drawing the head along, and the rib cage is drawing the arm along. And then the next time you roll back, if it feels okay for you to hold a little bit on this side, then hold and breathe into it. Let your mouth go to a little half smile. Breathe, feel this core of light. Let it open up, let it shine. Beautiful, and then as you're ready, roll back to your side. Take a moment, a few breaths here. Relax your arms where they're comfortable. And then, as you're ready, we're gonna make our way up off of this. We're finished with the blankets for now, so I'm going to move them out of my way for now. And we're going to be taking it into a child's pose posture. So on from your shins and, and hands, and you are folding your pelvis over your, yeah, I'm folding my pelvis over my legs and bringing my belly to my lap and the head to the mat, my arms are in, in close. If that's comfortable for you, then you're going to be in that position and just breathe there. If that's not comfortable for you, then what you can do is make your way to standing and you can do child's pose on a chair. So for those of you that traditional child's pose isn't comfortable, I'll show you how you can do this on a chair. So nice and easy, make your way up slowly because we've been down on the ground, you might feel a little white head. Ooh, not white-headed, light-headed. And bring the chair. And you're going to... Sorry, I have to make an adjustment. I'm falling apart here. <laughs> and you're going to sit on your chair. So sitting more to the edge of the chair. You're sitting on your sit bones. You know, these two areas of the pelvis that we perch on when we're sitting nice and tall in a chair are your sit bones. So sit up on your, on your sit bones and really land into the chair through your pelvis, land into the ground through your feet. And then as you exhale, you're going to take your pelvis, fold it over top of your legs, fold and drape your belly down onto onto your lap and if it's comfortable for you to come right right all the way here and let your head hang then you're going to go there and let your head hang if that's not comfortable then maybe you need to bring your arms in and maybe support your chest with your arms like this or find a variation here a place where you can be comfortable yeah, self-care breathe into whichever variation of child's pose that you are in 
few more breaths. And then as you're ready, roll yourself out of child's pose. So if you can tuck your tail and roll your spine up one bone at a time and land that head on top in the end and take a moment to pause and let the blood come out of your head. And then when you're ready, we're gonna be making our way to standing. So find your way to a standing posture into mountain. <clears throat> so I've got my feet parallel. Yeah, if that's comfortable for you, have the feet parallel and you want your feet to be right underneath your pelvis. I have a sense that those feet are right under my pelvis, right under this core of light, my spine supporting me. And then take a little moment to land down into your feet. Take a few breaths. <sighs> yeah, a few exhales where you're using a bit of sound and you're letting your awareness pay attention to the fact that you're standing on your feet. Feel the sense of weightedness in your feet. And then take a few longer exhalations. And as you do that, wonder or ponder, could there be a little more weightedness given to the earth, through my feet, down to the earth, so that I root down in to the earth. And notice yourself standing here in this mountain posture. rooted to the earth through your feet, connected through your crown to life force energy, long at ease. We're going to start to take it into chair posture. So I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see me from the side as we take it into chair posture. And I'll turn to this direction, yeah. So, chair posture. Take an inhale as you exhale. You're sitting back through your sit bones as if you're about to sit into a chair. Yeah, and you can at this point let your arms hang or you could bring your arms to namaste, your hands to namaste at your heart, yeah, whichever feels good for you. And so as I exhale, as you exhale, sitting back as if you're sitting into a chair, your knees are tracking forward over the middle toe, your sit bones are, are tracking back and wide, wide through the sit bones as you inhale, coming back to standing. Exhaling, watch that the spine stays neutral, yeah, that I've got a nice long neutral spine. I'm not curling my spine and I'm not arching my spine. I'm keeping nice and neutral as I drop down into chair posture, inhaling back. And now this next time when you drop down into chair posture, you're going to pause here for a, a breath or two. And then we're going to be taking it into a twist and we're going to be, it's the same movement that you were doing on the ground, on sideways on those uh, on the stack of blankets, the same movement. Yeah, you're rolling your rib cage. So, take an inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to turn, roll your ribs so that you're turning more to to your right. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale. Next exhale, turning to your left. So going side to side, imagine from your sternum that you've got a laser pointer and at the start that laser pointer is pointing in the middle of my mat and as I turn it goes out to the right, back to neutral, out to the left. Whenever you've had enough, you come back to neutral and come to standing. Make sure that everything feels good here, my knees are comfortable, keep spreading through your sit bones, keep wide through your sit bones as you're in this chair posture. Beautiful, one last time, finish that up, and then come back to neutral, and back to mountain, standing in mountain. And we're going to take it into a forward fold. So forward fold, I'm folding my pelvis over top of my legs over top of the, the tops of my thighs here. Let your arms be free and think of your arms like ape arms and really let your arms hang, yeah? And so 
Maybe you want your feet a little bit wider. Be mindful your knees aren't dropping into each other with this one. Keep wide through the sit bones. So take an inhale as you exhale. Fold yourself in half. Keep that spine neutral, nice and long. So being mindful I'm not rounding my spine, leading with my head, and I'm not overarching and sticking my chin out. Neither of those. Let the arms hang and keep neutral, neutral, neutral. Your, your knees, you may want to have a little bend in your knees, yeah, or as much bend as you need in your knees so that you feel comfortable, no pain here. Let those arms hang and gradually let yourself Go deeper and deeper into the forward fold, this core of light lengthening. And the deeper you go, feeling the sensation of how the spine can hang from the pelvis. Yeah, You're not reaching for the floor with your hands. If your hands land at all, it's the knuckles that are going to land. And then if you're comfortable here, you hold here and breathe into this. And then for those of you that aren't, comfortable there and would like uh, a modification, we're going to come to a chair and be in front of the chair, standing in front of the chair, a little wider with the feet maybe, make sure the knees don't roll into each other, let the arms hang, forward fold, I'm folding in half, I'm keeping my pelvis on top of my ankles, being mindful the pelvis isn't going back, 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 keep it on top of your ankles, and then basically the chair brings the floor a little closer to you. Yeah, so with the floor closer to me, I can just rest my hands on, on this chair and I can fold in half and let myself come as far into this as is comfortably doable for me. Yeah, so if it's comfortable for me to forward fold enough that eventually my, my, my forehead lands on the chair, then that's wonderful. If not, then you may want to stay at the halfway point and actually put your hands on the chair and just breathe here. Breathe into this position and this core of light from tail to crown, let it lengthen longer and longer, open with each breath. Beautiful. And then whatever variation you're in, we're going to come out of this. So bend your knees a little bit and make your way to standing and arrive in mountain. Land in mountain for a little moment and noticing yourself, your body, standing here in mountain. Beautiful. And then we are going to be going down into Shavasana. So I am going to take you into Shavasana and get you settled in and relaxed into Shavasana and then I'm going to leave you in Shavasana, the, the video will end, and you can rest in Shavasana for as long as feels good for you. So I will say thank you for joining me, and namaste now, so that when we finish, I'll leave you in Shavasana. So get what you need for Shavasana. I would um, use this stack of blankets. Uh, underneath my legs and I you may want to have a pillow underneath your head and then a blanket to cover up with so I'll go down here so you can have a, a look at me taking myself into Shavasana so cover up with the blanket I've got the stack of blankets underneath my legs yeah and I'm going to roll my way back down here got the pillow under my head if I need it yeah you may not need it and oh, yeah find a place that's comfortable in Shavasana so you settle yourself into Shavasana get your props and settle in there Once you've landed on the ground and settled in, got yourself comfortable, done whatever last movements you need to do to settle in, then take a few deeper, longer exhalations. Ah. Close the eyes 
and arrive. Arrive in this room on this mat and a few breaths to let yourself drop back in to the support of the earth, to the support of the ground beneath you. Notice the heels, the legs on the blankets, the back of your pelvis, the back rib, shoulder blades, the weightedness of your arms and hands and the back of the head and let the whole body surrender down in to the ground. And then let your awareness go to your spine and come back to this image of your spine as a core of light. See this light and sense breath moving up and down through the body, this light shining. And begin to visualize that that light shines out, illuminates outwards until it lights every cell within you. Yeah, see this light shining out to illuminate every cell within your body. And then it continues to shine out until it surrounds you. Lying here with this light from your spine, filling you, surrounding you. And know that this light within you is the same light within all of us. So let that light shine out and see that this light is within all of us and that we are one within this light. Know that you're not alone, you're not separate. and resting here within this light, the light of love. Rest within this light of love. <laughs> 